New at 430, a Durham pastor and teacher is facing more charges tonight for sex crimes with children. Now, we first told you 10 days ago that David Dixon was facing five charges. Well, now that number has increased to 19 and also spans multiple counties. WRL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger is live from the Durham courthouse with new details about how police say Dixon met the victim. Sarah. Deborah, we were here in Durham Court earlier this month as Dixon saw a judge. Soon he will face a judge in Wake County on these new charges, 14 of them. According to this arrest warrant, Dixon met the victim because that victim was a student at the school where Dixon was teaching. The charges are adding up for 37-year-old David Dixon. New charges out of Wake County showed the 13-year-old victim was a student at the school where he was substitute teaching. Dixon's 19 felony charges now include statutory sex offense with a child and sexual activity with a student. Raleigh police say at least some of the crimes occurred at Dixon's apartment on Wolf Tech Lane, where his neighbor are stunned. That like disgusts me because I work in child care like I just like I'm speechless. I work with kids because they're just so pure and like mm -hmm. you have so much influence over them. You really want to like change their lives in like the best way possible and like mm -hmm. to take advantage of someone like that is it's honestly so disgusting. WRAL previously reported that Dixon was a senior pastor at Kingdom City Life Empowerment Church and a substitute teacher at the Community School of Digital and Visual Arts in Durham, a public charter school. A school spokesperson told me Dixon began teaching fifth grade there in September. According to arrest warrants, the crimes occurred in September and in October. The school says no crimes occurred on campus itself. And Dixon remains here in Durham in jail with a $1 million bond. He is due in Wake County Court tomorrow, then back here in Durham Court on Thursday. Deborah. Sarah Kruger live in Durham. Thank you, Sarah.